welcome back welcome back to another youtube video to the channel it's been quite a while so it feels better than usual to say welcome back of course we did vlogmas all of december and then it was new year's and i took a little bit of time off and now i'm back it feels really good actually to be talking to you guys on the camera again and i filmed a little mini get ready with me this morning that i think i'm gonna put up on my tiktok so maybe go check that out if it's live but yeah, I uh, I feel like we have so much to catch up on. So much has been happening, but also not at the same time. Really, most of it, I've just kind of been relaxing, spending time with family, you know, taking time off, the typical holidays, everything. And we'll catch up on all that. But basically, I'm really excited that it's a brand new year. It's 2024. This is the year that I get married. This is a year that I've been looking forward to my whole life. Also, 24 is my favorite number. So... I'm thinking hopefully there, this is going to be a really great year and hopefully on this channel as well there'll be so much to share. So if you know you're new, you just maybe you just joined during Vlogmas or you have been following for a long time, I uh, feel really positive about this year and I think we're going to have a great one. And if you're not already subscribed, as always, make sure that you are subscribed because, like I said, this is going to be a really big year. I can feel it. So, uh, yeah, this weekend. So, all right. It's been, a, I feel like I just, I don't even know where to start with how much I have to catch you guys up on. Um, but basically, all right, let's sit down on the pink couch real quick. So, basically, it was Vlogmas. We ended on Christmas Day. I basically spent the day with my family, you know. And then Lyle and I went down to Florida. So this was the first year that Lyle and I had spent Christmas together. And obviously Christmas is about family and seeing families. So after we saw my family, we saw Lyle's family. So we flew down to Boca, saw Lyle's mom. I didn't vlog anything i didn't even post any stories i don't even think i didn't even take any pictures when we were there that's how offline i was <laughs> to that even my closest friends didn't even know that i went to florida um however i did meet a subscriber there we were in the mall and i met a girl who was super nice um and came up and said hi so <laughs> so we went to florida it was really nice and sunny kind of opposite from like you know cold wintry new hampshire where it's usually like very christmas vibes to then being with like palm trees and like sunshine it was really nice actually just to have both of those things over the holidays and then we just spent new year's really low-key just here back in the city and then i took last weekend off because i have so much wedding planning to do now so because vlogmas was every single day and posting and editing it just every day i wasn't able to do any wedding planning the whole month of december so i kept telling myself as soon as january comes around vlogmas is over i've had a break i'm going full force wedding planning so all last weekend i didn't vlog either and i just took time to like get caught up on a lot of wedding planning stuff and then i got sick so <laughs> That wasn't fun either. Uh, that was the point when you guys started to reach out and say like, hey, is everything okay? Where are you? And I was like, yes, I'm fine. I'm just taking a break. And then I got sick. And then now I'm healthy again. I'm done taking a break. I'm actually really done taking a break. I'm like ready to really get back into things. It felt really good to like do my makeup this morning and like plan out outfits. And Lyle and I are gonna go to dinner tonight, which is gonna be really nice. And then we have more wedding related stuff this weekend. So today, this morning when I took a shower, I had to exfoliate my whole body and you know, shave and everything because tomorrow I have my spray tan trial appointment. So when I talked to my potential makeup artist who I haven't done the trial with yet, but we'll do that in the future, we're just scheduling it. She said that she would not let me do my trial until I did my spray tan appointment first. So I actually didn't even know that I was supposed to get a spray tan for my wedding. So thank God that she told me because she was like, yeah, all brides get spray tans. And I'm like, you know what, actually, I think I just 
wasn't thinking about doing it because I didn't want to look orange in my pictures but there's actually really nice spray tans out there that you would not look orange at all and she gave me the name of a woman who has her own kind of like private thing here in New York and actually seems really nice it's in a super nice location so I'm thinking this isn't gonna be one of those orange spray tans this is gonna be something actually really nice and I want to try it out before the actual wedding day just to see like how does it wear on clothes how does this work with like if I shower how much of it does it come off etc etc it's just good to test these things before the big day so that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow so I got all prepped for that. And then on Sunday, Lyle and I are going out to our venue because we are doing a food tasting with a bunch of other couples that are also getting married at the castle this year. Um, so this isn't even our appointment where we test out like, okay, what do we want our menu to look like? This is just for the quality of the food. So I'm actually like, wait, I'm really excited for this. We're just gonna go out there, eat food, test the quality <laughs> and then maybe I kind of want to look around the venue a little bit just to like see it again and like familiarize myself with things so yeah I'm really excited for this weekend and yeah today's Friday I actually need to hop online get some work done and then I will catch up with you guys later so we got in this box in the mail this is from the company that is going to be making our wedding invitations we're moving pretty quickly with them because we need to get out our wedding invitation sort of soon. What's cool about them is that they do custom art designs on invitations. So if you wanted to do like an illustration, just something really pretty and special and custom, they do that for you. And I found them on Pinterest and I thought that this would definitely be what I wanted to do. Packages, really? So we spoke to them on the phone and then they basically send a package of like their materials and then we're gonna have another call about like what we kind of were thinking for the design and what other like paper products that we need for the wedding whether it's table numbers menus um like name cards things like that oh this is so cute sorry the dishwasher is running in the background and that's the sound that it makes when it goes. So anyways, this is their like whole process where, you know, it's kind of like step one, they have a creative feed, two, we send them some inspiration photos. Um, and then, you know, they, oh yeah, okay, this is two. We ship out a kit filled with samples of our work, paper swatches, printing examples, etc., for your review. Oh, the stationery and the goodies that await. So this is what's inside. <clears throat> and it all just looks so nice since our venue is at the castle is at is in a castle i feel like this is oh my gosh it's literally like a castle on the front that is so cool oh my gosh there's like all these different options for like envelopes and everything wow oh they can even paint your pets <laughs> that's so adorable artwork tips I wonder what's in this little bag. And it's all these women. It's a woman-owned business. So I think it's so great. I'm just like happy to support like women-owned businesses for our wedding. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, they're like different colored papers. So these are probably different colors of like envelopes that we could have and everything else. I did tell them my color scheme and they sent a bunch of stuff in those colors. So like whites, golds, subtle, you know, light pinks. There's just so many to choose from. So that's really cool. I don't know what I'm gonna choose. Oh, they have numbers on them. That's really helpful. I was going to say, how does one <laughs> decide all this? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is even better than I initially realized that this box was. Also, these women are so talented. All of this is so beautiful. Like, look at this. This is, <clears throat> so they've done a bunch of other couples that have gotten married at our venue, and this is one of uh, the couples save the dates. It's in the shape of Ohika Castle, and it's like a little save the date with some flowers. <clears throat> that is just so pretty. 
there's like ribbons that tie things together and like oh my gosh i haven't even like i need to go through all of this and like you can do like the name cards all you know kind of like custom and matching with your invitations and everything all goes seamless together there's like paper you can do with like cardstock on the back like examples of table numbers this one i cannot wait to open because that oh my gosh looks really pretty inside the menus like everything can kind of just like you can make it all go together this i haven't even looked at yet okay what is this this just looks like oh sort of an order of events who the flower girls are ring bearers you know kind of naming everything like that and then i put some other ones over here too so some people do like a whole weekend where they show the itinerary of like the welcome event the shuttle departs this is the time of the ceremony and then like a lot of people do a brunch the next day like oh my gosh mm. just everything is in here i have so much to go through I can tell that this is totally gonna be the fun part like really getting creative and going through everything and like doing the colors and just oh my gosh I oh, I'm so excited now okay so it's dinner time now the work day is over I close up my laptop and Lyle and I are going out to dinner I'm really excited to go do something I feel like I haven't really been out to dinner for a long time and so this place looks really good the food looks good and the whole place itself like atmosphere everything looks good so I'm really excited to try it it's called it's called St. Mark or a bros brasserie St. Mark um, and then on Google it looks a little bit different it's in the East Village so we're probably just gonna walk there but um, just wanted to show you guys quickly what I'm wearing so I got this dress at Zara like a while ago. Oh, I need to fix my hair actually in the back there. And it's served, like I've gotten so much use out of this dress because I feel like whether it's summer, spring, fall, or winter, this can be worn because it's basically looks like a white Oxford shirt, like a white button up, but it's a dress. And so obviously since it's freezing outside, I'm wearing tights. So I just have these ones. My only black tights right now have polka dots on them. <laughs> So I'm wearing black polka, dot, black polka dot tights and then just some black Zara heels and then just through my makeup coat that I wear, have been wearing like every day this winter and we're gonna go, oh, and I got these earrings. I'll show you guys these later, but these are from Majuri. So anyways, we're just gonna go and enjoy dinner. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Last night was great. We, the only thing of it, and I messaged someone about this this morning because I posted a photo on my Instagram, the place of the food of whatever, and someone was like, this place looks great, what is it? And I was like, yeah, it was great. Um, only thing, <laughs> when we got there, we were the first ones there, at least in the back dining room section, at the front in the bar, in the bar seating. There were people, and they actually have a speakeasy downstairs too, which we checked out briefly. It's kind of like a dance floor sort of area and then like a bar. It's interesting setup. Anyways, um, yeah, we got there into like the back dining room. We were the only ones. We were like, um, <laughs> are we just gonna be dining alone? It just felt a little bit weird, but they actually had a bunch of big parties that night. So there were some big tables that they had, you know, reservations for like a half an hour later. <laughs> but smaller parties came too and um it ended up being pretty busy when we left um but that was just a little bit like weird we we're like oh, did we pick the wrong plates but no we didn't um it was fine and the food was really good actually we got the burrata appetizer 
and the flavors were just good it was a good burrata because in my opinion sometimes burratas don't always go that great i mean most of the time burrata is going to be good but sometimes it's not good but this time it was very good <laughs> so good burrata and then we just ordered our mains i'm doing dry january actually inspired by one of my friends last year she did it and i'm not a heavy drinker at all to begin with i barely drink at all and when i do it's most likely wine if not maybe i'll order like a fun cocktail but i really don't drink that often however i just decided you know what let me just try for one entire month just doing a little detox and it actually comes up a little bit more often than I thought because like last weekend I went to see two of my friends for drinks and that was an opportunity there that I didn't take. I mean, I went out to the drinks, but I didn't drink. I got a mocktail. And then last night I got mocktails too and like it was fine and I love just like the feeling of not having a headache and just knowing that the next morning I wake up, there's no chance of being hungover at all. I can have my full day to like be as productive as possible so i don't know i'm liking it so far so yeah so i am doing dry january but yeah we got a mocktail i got the mussels for my mane and then we went over to a tiki bar right next door it's a place that opened up recently and lyle found it because it had been on a lot of different lists i'm trying to find the name but it was <laughs> the decor was a little bit spooky to me i thought that it was kind of halloween themed almost i'm like wait a minute halloween was over but oh yes it's called paradise lost and it opened a couple months ago it has 4.7 stars it was pretty busy the drinks were really good they had a lot of them that were on fire <laughs> So that was fun. Anyways, this morning, that brings us to this morning, I got a call from my self-tanning girl and she said she actually injured her hands last night and obviously she needs her hands to hold the spray tan thing and do the spray tan. So um, she asked if we could move it, so we moved it to next weekend. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, that I'm not doing my spray tan trial, trial today because I was really looking forward to it but that's all right, I'll do it next weekend instead. I still have plenty of time before the wedding. Um, so yeah, so then this morning I just took a shower. I still have these clips in. I just did my hair and makeup, um, but I'm getting dressed for the day. And I wanted to show you some of my new Cezanne pieces. Um, so as you guys know, I've had the monthly thing going with Cezanne. I've been ordering clothes and the order this time is actually really nice so this is a white top i wanted to get a fitted white top that i could wear in the winter time that's not a sweater because most of the tops that i buy in the winter time are sweaters and there's sometimes when you're like i just don't want to be wearing a big bulky sweater today i just want to be wearing a comfortable cotton top so that is what this is and it has a little bit of texture on it which i'll see if the camera can kind of pick up yeah you can see that it's got stripes with like a little bit of a polka dot and then the collar obviously has those sweet little details there. Saison always does such nice quality pieces. So this is just like a basic staple piece to have in your closet that you can wear with a lot of different things obviously. It could be as a layering piece, something that you could style under a blazer or under a cute jacket, under a dress maybe, like if you have more of like a shift dress. I can think of a couple, a lot of scenarios in which I could wear this. Style it with pants, jeans, skirts. This is like gonna be a go-to, I know it. Oh, and then I forgot about one of the best parts, which is that on the end of the sleeve there, it has buttons. So that's really cute and just a nice, sweet little detail. And then I got a t-shirt because, I don't know, it's just nice to have t-shirts sometimes. I wear t-shirts to bed a lot, or just like in the summertime, or just if you just wanna be in like a nice kind of cool t-shirt. I love that this one had a big heart on it, and it has a French saying in there, which I looked up, I forget what it, <laughs> what it meant, but if you speak French, this is what it says. I remember it was something that had to do with like, love something like that and then this last piece might shock you a little bit i got a pair of jeans because as you guys might might know actually probably probably might not know 
I don't wear jeans like ever. I wear white jeans all the time, all year round, off-white jeans. I love them, but I don't wear any like denim blue jeans. And I was looking in my closet and I was like, you know what? It might be good to just like own a pair. I do still have a pair that I used to wear like years ago, but the style is so outdated now. Um, and over, over New Year's, when I went to Florida, I got inspired because I saw someone that was like wearing these with a really cute pair of shoes that were more of like the style of these ones, but black. And I thought that it was just really sweet. Kind of like what, like I have these ones, but these ones are patent and they have more straps. These would be really cute with that too. But I just thought that be, by getting the jeans, it could be an opportunity for me to style it with basically whatever shoes that I want. And something like this I thought would be cute. So I might actually wear this combo today with maybe some cute shoes. And I feel like it's just kind of like a casual Saturday outfit. I'm going to see how I like it. These are Saison's uh, Brute Sexy. I knew that I would like the fit of these because I already own them in two other colors. <laughs> I have the pink ones and I have the white ones. Or they're more like an off-white, a little bit sort of a cream white. Anyways, this is just like a classic style of pants that they bring back every single year. And I know my size in them. I'm a size 27. And I don't know. I know that they fit. I know they're going to look good. And they look good on the butt too, I think, <laughs> which is important for a good pair of jeans. So yeah, I'm going to put this on and there is a new little cafe. I have, I woke up and had a, a pastry craving. I mean, typical on a Saturday. I'm always <laughs> like wake up on Saturday morning and immediately want some pastry. So I'm going to put my outfit on and go to a cafe nearby and get a pastry. All right, so here's the top. I think it's really cute. Here's the jeans. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. I still got my little bow though. I think I'm going to finish this look with my Penhaligon's perfume that I got in London, the Solaris, and the one that I put the <laughs> pink bow on. And it just smells so good. I feel like I've been looking for this perfume my whole life. <laughs> And the woman in the store told me to spray it around me like this. Because I guess that gets more on you rather than just spraying it and walking through. I never want to be like too overpowering with perfume though, or even overpowering at all. It should be very subtle. Shoes, I'm going to do these ones from J. Crew. I got them forever ago though, so um, <clears throat> I've looked many times and unfortunately <sighs> they're not available anymore um, but they are still very cute and these are the earrings I was going to tell you about yesterday from Majuri that I got recently they are like a gold sort of huggy like dome I thought that they were just nice and sophisticated and just like a little pop of sparkle very simple that goes with every outfit La belle restaurants too that are actually really good and I saw the other day that they had some nice displays and some cute little home things so I thought that we would come and check it out we've just taken an uber up to Flatiron but look you can see how cute it is inside and I just thought why not I have no other plans this Saturday let's go check out this store and see what's inside <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna 
Christmas is over, but this stuff is really cute. I feel like this is needlepoint, <laughs> which I've seen all over TikTok recently. How did you needle needlepoint? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I've been needing a blanket for my pink couch when I'm editing. This is $3.75, <laughs> a little expensive, but these look just so soft and fluffy. off sale. It's a cute candlesticks. This one is 39 down from 48 so not, not like a huge discount. Love all these pink plates. Love the patterns and like colorful designs. We've stumbled upon the Union Square Green Market. They sell lots of fresh produce here, things like honey, eggs, fresh bread, just like flowers, just like a regular farmer's market. It's in Union Square. Okay guys, it's time for a quick Trader Joe's haul. So we left ABC Carpet and Home. We were just looking around to see what else was in the area. Stumbled upon the Union Square Green Market. It was good. There wasn't a ton of produce. I think in the summertime there's a lot more produce. But in the winter time, it's a little more sparse. It's still just like a fun thing to do on the weekend though. But there is a Trader Joe's near there, so we stopped at the Trader Joe's. And I don't go to Trader Joe's as much anymore because we have a Whole Foods closer to us. And we're not like, I was never close to the Trader Joe's to begin with. Like when I lived in my last apartment, it's very close to this, par this apartment. It's only like five block difference. So I still live in the same neighborhood, but like when I used to walk all the way to the Trader Joe's that's in Soho, it's in like West Soho, like very, very far West. And that was still like a 10 minute walk, 10 to 12 minute walk from, no, more than 10 minutes. It was at least like 15, 12 to 15, depends on how fast I walked, but like say 15 minutes from my last apartment. So from this apartment, it'd be like a 20 minute walk and it's just too much when you're carrying heavy groceries. So I don't get to go to Trader Joe's as much anymore, but today we did because there was one right there. Um, so the first thing that I got hmm, are some mini Kala Lilies. These were $5.99 each, so for two bunches it was only like $12. And they're just really pretty. I haven't bought flowers for a while, but I do work from home and when I am here all day by myself, sometimes I just need little things like that to just, every time I see it, it's like, oh, it makes me happy. And flowers are just so pretty and nice to keep around, so I'm gonna put those in some water and in a pretty vase in a second. I got some extra virgin olive oil popcorn. This is one of my favorite snacks from Trader Joe's. It's not too heavy in the calories. For three and a half cups, it's 140 calories. It's, popcorn is like a pretty healthy snack. It's just the olive oil that's not so healthy, but you know, 
not really a big deal. I'm going to try out this salmon so i didn't know that trader joe's had wild salmon but they do so i got this i'm going to put it in the fridge and probably make it at some point soon um yeah i like salmon for dinner so i will have that i got some bananas just for breakfast purposes i got some milk actual milk because when I went to London over Vlogmas, I brought home some tea from Fortnum and Mason. And uh, since I came back, I tried to have some of that tea and it tasted really good. I like it, I'm so glad that I bought it. But it's definitely better with milk. And when I tried to put in my almond milk, it just did not work out. So I was like, I think I need to get some regular milk. And Trader Joe's prices are so good. So I was like, let me get it at Trader Joe's. It's just, just a little mini <laughs> size milk it's one quart so yeah I got some milk I haven't been able to find blueberries at Whole Foods for like months like I don't know what's going on but Whole Foods the one by me just doesn't have blueberries so anyways I got some blueberries from Whole Foods I mean Trader Joe's the sweet potato gnocchi this is one of my favorites from Trader Joe's everyone talks about the cauliflower gnocchi but no, the sweet potato gnocchi is way better. They're both good, but I just think that this one's better. And I love just heating this up for dinner one night. If I'm busy and I don't have time to cook a whole meal, you can just heat this up and it's really good. I saw this and I thought that I would try it. It's a vegetable hash. Just, you know, something you can saute on the stove. Some veggies, always a good choice. And then I got some mandarin orange chicken. I just figured I would try this one night for dinner. I'm not a huge fan of cooking meat. Like I, I'll do it obviously out of necessity, but like cooking meat isn't my favorite thing. So when it's already pre-made like this or like in a rotisserie chicken or something like that, it's a lot easier for me to get my protein in and actually eat meat because otherwise I just wouldn't. Like I could go a long time without eating meat and be fine but obviously it's important and then i got some the last this is the last thing some mandarin oranges after i eat dinner i always like to end on a sweet note <laughs> this just i feel like the last taste i want to have in my mouth is something sweet and it also just i feel like helps to digest whatever i was eating for dinner and i find that if i go for something like a mandarin orange or like a clementine that it's like more of a healthy alternative to more of the sugary sweet things such as like chocolate or ice cream or candy um because i'm trying to be really good leading up to the wedding and after the wedding too but i really just want to look and feel my best on the wedding day so yeah i'm trying to be healthy but that is everything and i'm just gonna put my groceries away okay so on the back of my to-do list that I showed you guys a while ago for my wedding stuff, I started to make a mood board. So <laughs> there's my flowers from Trader Joe's. I kind of wish that I got maybe at least one or two more bunches of them because they don't really sit very full in the width of my vase and all of my vases are about this width. If anyone knows where to get a vase that has a smaller opening so that you could fit those tiny bouquets that they that they sell at, you know, Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and stuff, let me know if you know a place to get a good vase that's small. But <laughs> otherwise, here's the the beginnings of the mood board. So I have here like a fabric sample for the bridesmaids dresses and then just like a picture of the dress and this is kind of like the color here's a bouquet that i was thinking of and then here's some more like flower inspiration i feel like this is so castle like um this is of course our menu i just printed this picture off of like google images this came in the 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 kit from our wedding this is somebody's save the date but i thought that it was cute just like a little illustration of the castle and then i'm just going to keep adding to this you know like more floral inspiration once we get the invitations i'll put them on here whichever swatches of these we end up choosing i will put on there so like 
say, for example, if I'm speaking to the woman who does the designs for the invitations and she's like, okay, I think we should use number, you know, 91, <laughs> then I'll, I can kind of go over here and say, hmm, okay, that actually looks really nice with like our, our flowers and everything. And um, I don't know, it's just like a fun way to get creative. It's totally not necessary for wedding planning, but I think it's just nice to kind of start to see how all the colors go together and make sure that I'm having like a seamless kind of color scheme that everything goes together for the wedding. All right, so it's dinner time now. I just finished making a recipe out of this book. It is a penne butternut squash with kale. And I've made it one other time before and it was pretty good, especially in the winter time. It's just kind of like a cozy, comforting, kind of warm meal. We've got the pasta and then like the veggies, the squash, and then the kale. It's got some like garlic and shallots in there and a little bit of like a cinnamon taste and salt and pepper and all that. And it's really good, I'll show you. So this is it all done. And it was really easy to make. You just make the pasta roast the squash in the oven and then you on like a pan just do like olive oil the garlic the shallots and then throw the kale in and you're good so it's easy delicious and slightly healthy <laughs> hello guys good morning it is sunday morning now i am so excited for what is to come today we're going out to our venue to do our food tasting so this isn't our official food tasting it's just a testing for the quality but i'm really excited to go see our venue again i love it so much i just feel like we picked the perfect place it is my dream wedding spot <laughs> So I'm excited to see it again. I might like poke around a little bit there if we can, just like look in the bathrooms um, because I'm thinking of doing bathroom boxes for the wedding. So like, you know, when you go to a wedding and in, in the bathroom there's a little box and it has little get ready things like, I don't know, like hairspray, bobby pins, like Tic Tacs, like, I don't know, little things like that that you might need, like deodorant, just things that you might feel like, oh wait, I need this, but you didn't necessarily remember to bring with you but it's good for a little touch up in the bathroom so i'm gonna see like what size box i can put in there based on like what the surfaces are like i know that's like a very oddly specific thing but um but yeah i'm just gonna look in there again and uh, just kind of look around get a feel for it taste the food and it's not just lyle and i it's a bunch of other couples that are getting married at um, Ohika this year so um, it'll be cool maybe to chat with some other couples that are getting married and so it's out our if anyone doesn't know this venue is out on Long Island so we actually have to drive there we're gonna be picking up Lyle's dad's car just like swapping cars with him driving out there and doing our food tasting so be fun to get out of the city for a little bit today although i love the city but you know it's just fun to go on a little road trip <laughs> mini road trip <laughs> but before we go i am just gonna run a couple errands we don't have to leave until 2 30 or maybe two ish i think we actually might leave but uh yeah so i have a little bit of time this morning and i'm gonna run to glossier i need to pick up another hand cream because i'm really really being serious about the hand hand cream this winter my cuticle has got to be perfect <laughs> for the wedding in may and then yeah I might just like get like a warm chai tea latte or something it's very cold not as cold as it has been but it's pretty cold um and also guys how fun is it to be walking around novita again i mean i obviously like walk around here all day but if you guys it's fun this is one of our main vlogmas spots little cupcake bake shop
Tohika. I uh, earlier just walked around a little bit in Soho, Nolito area. I saw some cute little shops. There was this really cute sweatshirt at this place, New York or Nowhere, it said Nolita on it. And then in the back it had like the names of all the streets and I'm like, this is so me, I need this sweatshirt. They didn't have it in my size though. It's like actually completely all sold out except for I think extra large. So yeah, uh, I might go back and try to see if they have that. And then I went into Maison Kitsune, which is like a cafe that they have in Paris. And they also have a cafe here in the West Village. And they sell clothing too, so I just checked that out. They had some cute like pink sweatshirts and stuff. And then I went to Glossier. And when I was in Glossier, I went in specifically because I needed to pick up a hand cream. But um, when I was looking at it, um, so they had, okay, two things. One, they had just released a new eye cream. So. The girl in the store was telling me that apparently they were originally going to release it like, sorry, it's really bright. Sorry guys, the lighting is like weird. But, so um, apparently they released a new eye cream today. It's called Full Orbit. And if you remember, Glossier had an eye cream in the past and it was called Bubble Wrap. And I really liked Bubble Wrap. I used it every night, but they discontinued it. So the new one that they released today is called Full Orbit and it's different than bubble wrap in that it's brightening instead of plumping. So bubble wrap was more of like a hydrating eye cream that actually like moisturized your under eyes. Full Orbit does similar, but it's more for like brightening and correcting. So I think of it as more of a daytime eye cream that you would use before applying makeup to like kind of brighten and sort of correct on your eyes a little bit. I tried it on, it was very moisturizing. I actually really liked it. I didn't buy it because I don't need an eye cream right now, but I did buy my hand cream. And then second, the girl that was talking to me, telling me all of this said, apparently it was supposed to be released later in the month, but it got leaked on Reddit because it was supposed to go to Sephora and they found out, so they had to push the release earlier than it was originally going to be. And then, the third thing that I was going to tell you was that this girl that was talking to me said that she recognized me from a very old YouTube video that I have live. <laughs> Sorry for the lighting. And the video is how to get a job at Glossier as a showroom editor because I actually used to be a Glossier showroom editor and she was like, yeah, I watched it and those interview tips that you gave me actually helped me to get the job at Glossier and I felt so like just glad that I could help even in some tiny way and she was like yeah I think a lot of the girls here have seen that video and it's funny too because when I was in London not the most recent time but the time before that over the summer a girl in London told me the same thing she was like I watched that video to get this job and so I'm like well I'm glad that it's still relevant and that people are finding it and it's helping them get jobs because I feel like in some way you know sometimes when you're in you know influencer doing stuff online it's kind of like what's the point of it what is the value that you're adding I think it's entertainment you know kind of an escape from real life and plenty of other things but the fact that you could put a video live to help other girls get jobs just means so much to me and I am really glad that I put that video out um, because I don't know if so if anyone wants a job at Glossier go search up that video um, but yeah, so that was really cool. And then um, I stopped in in other stories really quickly and ended up buying a sweater, which I was not trying to buy anything at in other stories, but it was happened to be like the perfect exact type sweater that I was looking for. So I'll show you guys that when I get back. But they had a lot of really good new arrivals in there. So um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed probably seeing some of the try on clips. But anyways, that's the deal. We're heading to Ohika. Looks like we're gonna get there right a little bit before four. And so the sun will probably go down an hour later, so we won't probably really get to get as much pictures and stuff as I was hoping. However, that's okay. I'm just excited to try the food and <clears throat> have a really lovely day.
my apartment now. That was so cool. I really just enjoyed it so much. I, it was just a fun thing to do with Lyle, like him and I, like future bride and groom, trying all the different foods. And we marked down on the menu, because um, they had just like printouts for us, what was our favorites. And we're gonna pick all that out and, and choose the menu and everything when we actually meet six to eight weeks before our wedding so we still have some time but it was just nice i don't know to go back to our venue and then also after the food tasting they did let us see the bridal suite real quick the hotel manager just kind of had someone take us up there real quick because we didn't get a chance to see it when we toured our venue because there was actually a wedding going on that day so of course <laughs> the bridal party was using the bridal suite um, but since it's just a cold day in January, there weren't any weddings going on tonight. So, so yeah, they let us uh, they let us see it, and it was really beautiful. Obviously, it was kind of dark, but you could tell that it's absolutely beautiful inside, and it was just nice to see everything again. <clears throat> but anyways, going back to the and other stories haul. This is a mini haul because I only got two things. But they are both great for the winter time. So one is a sweater, and this is just a plain, a little bit off-white, kind of more like an ivory color sweater. I love it because it's not like, um, you know, those kind of cheap sweaters that are really fluffy, and it, they're like cute when you look at them because they're so fluffy, but they actually feel kind of itchy. This one is the opposite of that. It's that really comfortable fabric where you want to pull this out and wear it because it's actually just like a breathable kind of, let's check. Let's check the fabric on this actually and I will eat my words if this is polyester. <laughs> but let's just see because I wanna, you know, be accurate on this. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm in the clear. It is 65% cotton, 35% wool. So both natural fibers. And when you have natural fibers like that, it's going to be more on the comfortable side. Sometimes with wool, obviously, it can be itchy. But um, this feels feels like cotton, but has the warmth of wool. So perfect combo. Let me throw this on real quick. Okay, so here it is on. It is just as comfortable as I made it sound. And I don't know, I love these like sleeve details, how like the pattern of the stitching kind of comes in this diagonal pattern here. I really love this. I had done a video before of my most worn items and let me just grab it real quick. Okay, so this is my most worn, honest to goodness, piece in my closet. It has to have been because I've had this for so long. I turn to it all the time. It's just so comfortable and perfect in the winter time. This I feel like is like the pink version of this. This I got at Urban Outfitters like years ago and I think I turned to it so much because it's a sweater that's not an itchy sweater. As you can tell it's like the same type of fabric. And so yeah this one obviously isn't on sale anymore. But this one is, so I will leave it linked, at least I assume so. It seemed like a new arrival in the store, and I go into that store all the time and I haven't seen it. So uh, yeah, it's just a nice little warm sweater and be cute with like, a just, you know, a plain gold necklace, kind of like this Monica Vinader one, or just some nice, you know, chilling at home with some nice like earrings on, you know, it's just nice and a little bit sophisticated as well. It's like vanilla girl i guess <laughs> um kind of aesthetic just cozy at home sort of thing so i love it and then the second piece that i got was this one what fabric is this called because do 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 okay i remember this actually this one is 100 percent silk um organic silk at that it's just a very pretty fabric this is like it almost I thought it was I thought it was kind of like an organza but it's got these long sleeves with a gallard detail at the wrists and you can tie it in a bow here and then on the collar it's just kind of like a little sort of a mock neck 
and then it's got two buttons in the back and I thought that this would be a really great layering piece it's obviously sheer so you could either be like super cool fashion girl and wear like a cool pretty lacy bra under it and wear it with a pair of trousers um, kind of like the pair of trousers that I'm wearing today or you could layer it under say like a, a dress I was kind of thinking of like this type of a dress more I was thinking more of like a black dress this is just the example that I have to show to share to show you right now but um something like that where it's kind of just like two tank top width straps or maybe even a spaghetti strap if it was like a square neckline like a black kind of shift sort of dress with like a a line or not an a line more of like a skater skirt kind of thing so like that would be really cute so i'm going to keep my eye out for one of those but let me pop this on real quick to show you so i apologize for um my bra situation you can't see anything it's just like a new colored bra whatever um but yeah so here it is it's uh it's nice the sleeves are really long but i kind of like that about it i feel like it's sort of fashiony and like cool and I feel like I could see myself wearing it with like a little clutch like this and just like being cool in an event or something if I ever <laughs> got invited to an event. Um, I would definitely figure out the top situation though if I were to wear it like this with trousers. Um, but yeah, and then I think it's cool how it sort of has that like stripe coming down the back like as if it's buttoned up but there's no actual buttons there. This was something that I saw on their website a while ago and it was completely sold out. So, and I had never seen it in store and they had it in the section where it was, they only sell, where they were like, they only had one size left. They actually had two sizes left. Um, I would have gone one size down, but they didn't have it. This is a size medium, which is my normal size, but since it's so oversized and I wanna layer it, I was actually thinking maybe I should go for the small or even an extra small if they had it, but they only had a medium or a large. So I went with the medium. I still think I could make it work though. And it is really cute. I don't know if I can link it though, because since it was one of those situations where they only had one size, I don't think that it'll be available online, but I will check if it is. It'll be in the description box as everything always is. All right, here it is layered with a dress. This is just one dress example, but this is the type of thing that I'm talking about. I think if I were to, f I'm definitely going to keep my eyes out for something else. This is just like old from Zara, but um, this is kind of the type of vibe and you can see that it's just like layered underneath and instead of just <laughs> wearing this dress on its own, you've got a nice little layered kind of sheer piece under it. So I don't know. I think that this is nice, but I definitely like it with the trousers as well. These are from Lily Silk and I got them when I was doing a, uh, like a paid partnership with them, a brand collab. I am not doing that now, however, I do really like these. I'm so glad that I got them from doing that because they actually really come in handy, such as today. So yeah, these are just, these are the pants that I was wearing earlier. They go with every top that I have showed you today. Every single top that I've tried on in other stories, these went with. I feel like it's sort of the movement towards trousers now as opposed to jeans. And I'm all for it. I love when the outfits are more elevated, a little bit more kind of business casual. And these ones are cool too because the back is stretchy. So they're super comfortable. And uh, yeah, you can style them a lot of different ways. But that's my little haul for the night. But anyways, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's so fun to be back and i can't wait for you guys to see this vlog and to be back to posting again so it's going to be a really lovely year make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss anything because so much is going to happen this year and i want you guys to be a part of it so uh yeah that's it and um i will hopefully i will see you guys next time okay bye